You know, it breaks my heart to see somebody living on the streets and trying to survive and get by. That being said, it just pisses me off when I see somebody doing it to take advantage of somebody else. When I see somebody acting homeless, acting like they can't survive, acting like they need your help, holding a sign, just preying on people that are so giving and so willing to help others. It just, it just makes me sick. You know, I have a friend who lives here locally in Dickinson County. He's homeless right now. He's literally living in his car. Luckily, he's got a good support of friends locally that are giving him couches, um, rooms, floors to sleep on when it's cold. But even he tells me that he would never, ever, 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 ever stand out with a sign begging for your help. I'm sure there's many people that might become that desperate and would want to do that because they need to survive, but he's not one of those people. And even he says this guy is a scammer. When you're seen locally all over the UP, he's here again in Iron Mountain once again. He's not at Kmart at the old plaza here. He's off to the side on a side road. He's not in front of Walmart. He's not in front of big parking lots. Mainly because I believe he's been trespassed before and he's not allowed to go there. Because he's been here so many times asking for your money, he's not allowed here. A couple days ago, I got a message he was in Iron River. And I kind of thought, and you know, I'll, I'll keep in this in mind that he might be uh, making his way this way. It is ski jump weekend. There's going to be a lot of money floating around town, and why not? I mean, hey, this is the perfect place to come if you're trying to panhandle money off of total strangers. He doesn't know you. He has no clue who you are. He doesn't care. All he wants is your green back. So I'm going to pull up here a little bit. I'm not, I, I'm debating whether or not I should even approach him. I know he's no good. I know he's just a scammer out here, just collecting money and, and looking for somebody, looking for you to help him out. I think his sign said, uh, hard times, anything will help. Last time he was here, he had a sign uh, that he was trying to get to Minnesota. Which was funny because he was trying to get to Minnesota. He left Iron Mountain and he went to uh, Iron River. Then he hitchhiked back to Iron Mountain. From here, he went to Escanaba. Then he wound up in Marquette, uh, wound up in Houghton Hancock, where apparently somebody did finally buy him that bus ticket to Minnesota, which was like two weeks after you know he was here. And now he's back. So let's take a drive over here and uh, see if he's still out here. Like I said, I'm going to stop a little short. I don't really want to confront him. I don't want to create a scene. We know what he's here for. Let's uh, see if anybody else is helping him out.
Oh no, don't worry, it wasn't me that called the cops. However, he's not standing on public, or he's not standing on private property. Legally, he's not doing anything wrong, other than just standing on the side of the road impeding traffic, if you want to say that, but. He's got to recognize my van from the last time that uh, he was in town. Yeah. Scammers amongst us. It just I don't even know what emotions I feel right now hate I'm, I'm definitely pissed off mad angry sad definitely sad I'm sad about all of these people that willingly give their money thinking that they're really helping somebody get off the streets and maybe get their lives together or you know you drive by right now it's 44 degrees um, it's supposed to be snowing here tomorrow if it was snowing he'd be making a lot more money and I say making money because this is a business opportunity all across the United States People do this everywhere. This isn't a UP thing. This isn't you know, an Iron Mountain thing. This happens everywhere. And it makes me angry because I came from a big city where all of this shit happens. And I moved to this small community because I don't want to see that shit. I don't want to see people on the streets begging to survive. Now, you may look at it that I'm putting on the shutters, that I, I am, you know, removing reality from my head, which I am. I got away from the big city for a reason. And now the big city is following me where I am now. But there's not a reason for it. There's not a reason this guy is out here trying to survive. There's, It's not like... It's, it's not like he lost his job and he doesn't have a place to live and he's trying to survive. He's not like my friend who's disabled and has no place to live. Who made some bad decisions and he, he knows that. People make mistakes. People learn from their mistakes. And they get better. This guy, he's learning from his mistakes, all right, and he's learning how to, he's learning how to take advantage of others. It just sucks, you know, it really, it just sucks. I'm probably going to have to confront him because I, I'm just angry, and if I don't, I'm going to be more angry with myself that I didn't. You know, and again, if this was the first time I seen him and he didn't, uh, he wasn't uh, seen in every major city in the UP in the last few months, I might have a little bit more concern and uh, a little bit more, more compassion, but I don't. I have none. I have zero. You know, the first video that I made confronting this guy, I gave him the benefit of the doubt. I even posted that, uh, hey, if you see him, stop by, drop him a few dollars, help him out. And immediately, people started posting, well, I've seen him in Escanaba. Um, he's been doing that for years there. I've seen him here. I've seen him there. 
And then somebody shared a picture of them in Iron River and then in Houghton Hancock. I mean, come on. If you're down on your luck, you need a helping hand. People are out there. They will do it for you. But stop taking advantage of others. I feel better now. Come on. I mean, really? No. No. You go everywhere doing this. Last time you were here, you were trying to get a bus trip to Minnesota. To Minnesota. I've been to Minnesota, dude. Then you left here, you went to Iron River, then you hitchhiked back here. Then you went to Escanaba. I've been, I've been to, um... Where you hang out there in Escanaba all the time. Then you went to Houghton Hancock, where your picture got posted everywhere, and some nice guy offered or got you a bus ticket, which you finally went. I did take that bus ticket. Yeah, I know you did. Yeah, I know you did. Yeah, yeah, but uh, I'm homeless, dude. I'm not fuck. I'm not bullshitting or nothing, dude. I didn't take that bus ticket. I, I, I gave you the benefit of the doubt before. Now I, I, I think you're just a liar. I've gotten so many messages that you're out here already. I have a buddy that's homeless. He sleeps in his car at night. He looks for places to sleep because he ain't got no place to go. But he sure in the hell ain't going to do what you're doing. Hard times. Do you work? Do you try to work? You got nice boots on. You dress nice. Just seems like, you know, trying to find a job and, and getting yourself off the streets a better plan than sitting out here and just saying. Words out, so you might as well start hitting the road and walking because Full of the devil's what? Wrath. wrath. You're full of the devil's wrath. You're full of the devil's wrath. Oh, I believe in Christ. He's helping people. They have a homeless shelter in town. You can go there and sleep tonight, you know. I bet you probably already know that, though. Because I know that people have told you because they told me that they told you. All you gotta do is call the Iron Mountain Police. They will put you in contact where you need to go tonight to sleep. You can call me an asshole. You can call me whatever you want to. I don't really care. I don't care. I don't care. He's probably pissed off, but he's walking. Who knows where he's gonna go to? I, I really don't care. I don't believe them. I don't want to sound like a selfish asshole and shit, but seriously, man, that guy just pisses me right off. I don't believe him. I don't believe him. I don't believe him. I think he's just out here taking advantage of others. When he's done here, he'll be in Escanaba. He'll be in wherever he has to go. There's so many programs out there that are willing to help the homeless. <sighs> Fucking just pisses me right off. <laughs>